Uh, Ranking Member Himes, you also called confirmation bias this week. You said it was bad. Um, how do you fix it? Well, that's that's really our job, um, and it's very difficult. You know, one of the things, the lines that stuck with me from the Durham report was he didn't actually, in fact, he explicitly said that he's not proposing changes in policies and procedures. And his line was, what we need to do is not do new rules. We need to go back to really abiding by the old ones. Uh, and that's pretty challenging. And, and, and look, I think um, I would tell you that um, FBI, particularly driven by the fact that there's a great deal of suspicion around their activities uh, in the FISA world, um, has cleaned up their act meaningfully. Now, I'm not going to say they've cleaned up their act enough because I'm not ready to say that, but they have instituted pretty dramatic reforms with respect to what an agent needs to do when they want to query a U.S. person, as they did in the case of uh, of, of um, Carter Page. Now, Carter Page, I should note, was that was a that was not 702 querying, but the point is, it's the same organization not acting with the competence and the clarity that it should. So, you know, they've already made changes. The question, of course, is it uh, is is it enough? And you know, uh, what Mike and I are trying to do, um, I don't think Mike and I think that we're going to agree with each other on political stuff. Just yesterday, we voted in different ways around the censure of the previous chairman, Adam Schiff. So we're not seeking uh, unanimity of opinion, but what we are trying to do is create a space where we can do the critical work of, of overseeing our national security that is not polluted by people's partisan desires. And, you know, the chairman's absolutely right. Um, you know, the 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 Trump conspiracy collusion, whatever you want to call it, that was the subject of five investigations. By the way, the charge that Hillary Clinton was incompetent as secretary of state when the Benghazi tragedy went down was subject to eight or nine investigations. Right. So, um, you know, all of which all of those investigations failing to turn up the kind of political conclusions that partisans are so desperate to find. And though Mike and I are not charged with this task, we do need to think about how we take the temperature down, because at the end of the day, the cost is borne by the American judicial system. If you know 60% of Americans think that the FBI is either working for Hillary Clinton because of the Steele memorandum or working for Donald Trump because the director of the FBI announced Hillary Clinton's investigation, the, the effect of that is a total loss of confidence in our judicial process. And, and I'll tell you, that, that way lies the erosion of our democracy.